Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome to another review with me. Today, I'm going to be reviewing something that's kind of from a fast food place, but kind of not. Um, for this review, I actually go to a fast food place, Wendy's. And I got my favorite thing to order at Wendy's, a Baconator sandwich. Most simple, delicious burger you can get. It's just got like a ketchup mayo, a lot of crispy bacon, cheese and meat on a nice shiny bun, and that's it. So, what is this review about if it's not for the Baconator? Because I've had Baconators before. I've reviewed them before, compared them to other Baconator burgers from other places. Well, Wendy's has just collaborated with Pringles to make the limited time Wendy's Baconator Pringles. The, um, there's a, uh, it says limited time only. There is a, uh, thing you could get on a lid. It says download, enter, and unlock. And this is for, if you buy one of these, you can, uh, use a code on here, with the mobile app for Wendy's, and get a free Baconator sandwich. I tried to do that says that the uh, code is on the back of this label. I don't know if you can see the super duper 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 faint lettering that's on here, but it took me about four or five tries in the app to finally guess what it was correctly. And once that I was correct and it hit the offer for a free Baconator sandwich, it said, oh, Creator log into a Wendy's account. So I tried to create one. It said I already had one. Who knows? Maybe I made one before. So I got my uh, login information, logged into the app. When I went back to the app, the offer was gone, and I could not re enter the passcode. So double fault. Can't read it at all. And then they trick you by making you use the code before you log in. So if you get one of these and you can read it, make sure you log into your app in the profile you're going to use before you actually use the code for the free sandwich. Or else it just disappears. Don't know where it went. Anyway, before I get too uh, far into this, I want to do a shout out to a channel that shouted me out, so I'm going to shout them back. And this shout out goes to Larry and Josh from the Fun Food Funnies YouTube channel. Um, Larry and Josh are a couple of dudes of different generations who uh, they review all sorts of different food. Sometimes they do fast food stuff. Mostly they do uh, like packaged drinks and, and, and snacks. They have their own style, definitely. Um, you should go check them out. He uh, typically has some type of jokey image behind him. I think now he has a picture of the Pope. Anyway, now let's go back to the review. So I went to Wendy's to get the Baconator because I wanted to see how the taste of a Baconator sandwich compares to the taste of Baconator's Pringle. So of course we have to try the real Baconator first to get what the flavor is that I should be tasting in the Pringles. Here we go. Smoky, cheesy, meaty. The bacon on this one's not as crisp as sometimes I've gotten them, but I can't complain too much. Got a lot of sauce on that side. Let me take a bite right here.
that mixture of tomato and mayo has a distinct flavor to it. All right. You might ask why for someone who's clearly had more than one Baconator in his day that he would need another one to get the, the flavor. Well, I wanted to have that image in my mind clearly before I try these. They smell almost like sour cream and onion. That smells like a burger. Anyway, let's try the chips out and get a couple of them. Show you what the powder situation is. There's a hint of redness to that. It's mostly white. First of all, these are some of the stalest feeling Pringles I've had in a while. These are supposed to be brand new. Does it have a date on it somewhere? For being new, look for the flavor seal. I just unsealed it today. I can't see the date anywhere. It's just like surprisingly how stale it is for uh, how new this is supposed to be. Okay. So if you give, gave me these chips unlabeled, I would say they have like a, a little, like a tangy ketchup with a little bit of smoke to it. That's what these taste like. Mostly like a, a tomato-y tang to it. So I'm going to read the ingredients to see if I can get anything from the, the flavors. There's uh, sugar, white vinegar, non-fat milk, tomato powder, acetic acid, uh, spices, paprika, turmeric. Turmeric is usually just for color. But as you can see, like, tomato and a couple, like, vinegars and acetic acid. That's what I'm getting when I'm tasting, like, a, a tangy, ketchup-y kind of flavor. I really don't get much bacon or cheese or burger at all. And I don't see anything in there. It was monosodium glutamate, which is MSG. I'm guessing that's what's trying to do like the meaty, bacony flavor to this. But I just get really heavy tomato-y flavor to it. With some tang. And there's non-fat milk. I guess that's supposed to be where the cheesiness of it comes out. Now, the ketchup mayo combo that I said has a distinct flavor to it is one thing that I do like about the Baconator. It's not the main thing. It's not the main flavor of a Baconator. I'm sure a lot of people order a Baconator and they say no ketchup or no mayo. This is all that ketchup-y flavor. A tangy ketchupy flavor. No bacon, no burger, no cheese. This is definitely a fail in the trying to taste like a baconator. However, the flavor itself isn't bad. That tangy ketchupy flavor, I personally enjoy. But since you're labeling this as a baconator, I can't give you a very high uh, score for that. So this is going to, the Wendy's Baconator Pringles are going to be a five and a half out of ten. That is a critical failure or clear failure critical failure would be like a one or a two but a clear failure 
from the Pringles brand to try to taste like a Baconator, uh, it does not at all. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video. For more videos like this, please subscribe. Tell me if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Tell me if you think that uh, the quarantine hair is getting too long, or I should just keep on letting it go until it reaches the floor. Anyway, see y'all later. Bye-bye.